Hi, welcome to Mr. Otter's studio. Today I'm going to show you how to draw the raven that I used last week in pencil and ink. I'm going to try to break it down to make it simple for you. These are the supplies that you need. You need some paper and I'm just using white drawing paper. I would prefer to use Bristol paper, but I don't have any left. And these are the drawing utensils that I'm going to be using. A Pigma Micron pen, a Pigma graphic pen, a pencil. I'm just using a Sumo Grip mechanical pencil. Any pencil with the eraser will do. And the best tool, the Sharpie. Really just use whatever you have. I'm going to use a few different pens just because I have them, but if all you have is a pencil and a black ballpoint pen or a black Sharpie, then use it. We're going to start out with a pencil sketch of the Raven and then we're going to fill it in with the ink. So first you just want to grab your pencil and we're going to draw some simple shapes for the Raven and then we'll fill it in with some stylized designs and then ink it in. So this raven is kind of looking up at the sky. So we're gonna start with its head and I wanna leave a little space behind it over here because this is where I'm going to create my long shadow. I'm just thinking maybe my bird comes to here and then here we have um, the shadow kind of trailing behind it or under it. Just think about where you want your bird's feet to be and then where you want it to end. You don't have to add this long shadow that I'm going to add. You could just draw the bird. All right, so let's start up here since this is where we're going to be drawing the raven. I'm going to be drawing kind of dark but make sure you're drawing light. You wanna draw light enough that your lines aren't going to stay when we start erasing. So we're just going to draw like a circle for the head. We're gonna draw it up over in this side and then we're just gonna kind of bring a line diagonally from it back and then this one's just gonna come a little bit down like a big wide neck. And then right here, we're just going to draw an oval. This is the head of the bird. This is the body of the bird. Just draw a triangle at the end for the tail feathers. Where the legs are is pretty simple. You're just going to come about halfway in this shape. So just kind of divide the shape in half. And that's where your first leg is going to start. And you're just drawing almost like a box coming down and then another one behind it, but it's just coming up a little bit. And then let's just get in the shape of the beak. So as we draw this raven, the beak is actually kind of coming up at an angle. Just kind of keep it flat on the top and then curve it down and then bring it back in just in like this triangular shape. And then we'll make it look a little bit more like a raven when we start putting in some of the details. Let's just put these legs in really quick. They're pretty simple. You're just going to curve this line. You can bring it down a little bit, curve it forward. And then we're just going to draw the four toes. And so we have this back one. So you just bring a bump back here and then one in front that should probably be longer. And then the second toe is just gonna be a little bit longer and then this back one you can tuck behind it. And we'll make these look a little bit more stylized and add the talons to them. And then do the same thing with your back foot. Bring it down just a little bit, then bring it in. Bring the back toe out. These kind of come behind these feet. So you can just draw the line right through if it's helpful for you. Let's come up here to the beak. Now that we have the basic shapes in, let's adjust the, the shape of the head and the beak so it looks a little bit more like a raven. Now the top of the raven's beak comes out a little bit further than the bottom and this line comes up a little bit higher than you would think since we're almost below this raven in the image that I have. So come past your circle and then just go ahead and bring a line back out. Same thing here. And then just make sure you keep that bottom part of the beak. You don't want to lose it completely. They have a pretty substantial beak. This is feathers right in here. So this whole space in here we're going to stylize and make it look like feathers. Then it's going to be fairly flat on the top of the head, come up a little bit at an angle and then come down. So we're not squaring it off, but we're definitely not making it as round. So I'll erase the circle so you can see that just a little bit better. The eye is going to be above this line. So draw your circle for the eye and then let's add an eyelid. Then let's add the center dark area. I'm just gonna draw a circle here that's going to stay light. So as I shade it in with my pencil, this tiny little circle, I'm going to leave the color of the paper. Bring a little feather down right there. All right, now let's get down into the wings. The top of the wing does start about right here. So let's just kind of make a little indication of where it curves. And then it's going to come back into these tail feathers into this big shape that's happening here. Erase some of the lines that we used to draw it with so that when we start drawing the pen in, we're not getting confused. Now let's work in the wings. First, we're gonna start with these big feathers that are coming down along the back. And there's just about four before we hit the tail. So there's one at the very top. And these, just think of them as the shape of a, of a leaf right now. One below it, one that's coming back along here, and then one really long one that comes down. It starts coming down into these tail feathers. And we will add more feathers in here. You can just add three if you wanna just, I mean, this is def there's definitely not 
just three, but you can add those in there if you'd like. And then in here, what's going to happen is there's going to be a big feather here. So we have one, two, and then once you get into this area right here, the feathers get a lot smaller. Think about dragon scales, and you can make these kind of rounded to begin with, but then they're going to start coming into more of a leaf shape, but they don't continue down in this whole space. Now we're starting to get some longer feathers. So after you do about one, two, three, four, five rows, then you can start with some longer feathers. And so we're going to bring some longer ones in here and I'm just going to start, maybe let's start over on this side and let's overlap them a little bit. And then along this wing, we have some really long feathers. So I'm just doing a lot, one, two, three feathers along there just so they don't get lost. And then we can start coming back in here with some longer feathers. So we're just doing another row of these long feathers. You can put some of those small feathers in here if you'd like. This is pretty shaded. You can't see a lot of it. You can see a few feathers kind of poking out of this edge. So when we add our ink, you can add those details in. And this looks more like, almost like hair, like fine little hairs instead of feathers. We can see a few feathers coming down in here. Depends on how tattered you want this crow to look. It's gonna just come gradually down into this part, this area, this shape. Now that we kind of have these feathers in, let's just put some more in the end here. So we're gonna draw one, and there actually would just be a few kind of overlapping down into the tail. So you have to draw one, two, three. Then we'll come out into here and we'll kind of start spreading them apart and overlapping them. These ones are pretty tattered on this bird that I'm looking at. There's some smaller feathers in here, but what we're going to do now, since we're going to be inking this in, something that's helpful for me and something that I've seen some other artists do that ink a lot more, and I do not do ink drawings a lot. I've only done a few, but what I see them do is kind of draw in the dark areas that they're going to fill completely with black. Now let's draw in the areas that are gonna be completely black. So underneath the beak, right here, this area is completely black and it comes all the way back into here and then down. This whole area along here is going to be black, so we're going to be able to see some of these feathers in here, but it's mostly going to be really black. This is light, but this area back here is all dark. You can just see some of the body in front of this leg, but this will be dark. All of these under feathers are going to be dark. So this is the basic basis of our sketch. Now let's go ahead and work in the tail area right here. Now in this area, you can really do whatever you want. Uh, it's totally up to you. Since my um, topic was kind of long, what I'm going to do is just create a long shadow that might come off of my paper and I could write something in this shadow. I could just make it black. I could just make my tail feathers go into a cool shape that says something, which I might do. You can do a few things and that's the cool thing with drawing and illustrating is you can kind of make it into whatever you want it to be. So I'm just going to write nevermore in the shadow that's underneath the bird. All right, now what you wanna do, whatever word you wanna fit in here, figure out how many letters are in it. There are nine letters in nevermore and so that's why I'm gonna divide this into nine. You can just divide it into nine evenly or you can divide it in nine with a little bit of perspective. So they're getting bigger as they go away. So what you wanna do to find your next letter, so you figure out how wide your first letter is. So my first letter is gonna fit in here. Then I'm going to draw a diagonal line through this point where these lines intersect in the middle. And wherever I hit this line, that's where my next line's gonna be. And I'm just trying to keep these parallel to each other. So at the same angle. And that's what you do with the next one. So I know this one needs to come to here. You can use a ruler if you want. I'm just eyeballing this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine is my last one. It's gonna fit somewhere in here. So each one of these quadrants is where my letters are going to be. And I'm actually going to use these lines. I'm just drawing X's in here so I can find the center of my letters. And then you just write your letters in there. So I'm just gonna try to fit nevermore in there. And I'm just going to write the letters and then I will, with my pen, I'm gonna make it look a little bit more stylized. So now that we have the basic sketch in, you could either start to outline it in pen or you can use your pencil to add some designs and some different elements in here before you start using the pen. Some people are a little bit more comfortable doing it that way. I like to just get my sketch in, just the basic shapes in pen, and then I'll do my details with my pen in the drawing. So what we wanna do is just start outlining and anywhere, like I have some of these feathers, I might start, to, you can start to stylize these edges a little bit. And you can even outline those areas where you're going to have some shadows. So take your pen and outline all of the lines that you want to keep. In the shadow, I'm just going to outline these letters because this is going to be, I want to make this all black and then I want my letters to be white. So I'm just going to outline my letters and leave a little bit of space so that there's white in between. 
Once you've outlined the basic shapes and any of the different details or lines that you want to keep, take your eraser and go ahead and erase out all your pencil lines. All right, now one thing we forgot is really quickly to come in and put the talons in these. Go ahead and add some curved talons to those feet. You could start with the lighter areas, you could start with the darker areas. I'm gonna start with the darker areas. So first I'm just gonna come into this eye, make the second circle black. So we're just gonna work on the bird for now. And we're going to start putting some details in it. You could add some more feathers coming up and off of the bird if you want. You can stylize it. You can add a lot in these feathers before we start to add some of the shading in the nose and up here in the eyes a little bit more. Let's add a little bit of texture to these wings first, to these feathers that we can see really definitely in these wings. And it would have been cool to write Nevermore inside of here. So somebody needs to figure that out. So you can do this in a few different ways. I want these to be a little bit darker as they're folding up under each other. So I'm just going to put some lines in the top like that. So almost like you're starting underneath that feather above it. And you can, you can put a line in it. You could come out from that line in this direction. And if you want it to look darker, since we're using pen, just put those lines a little bit closer to each other where you want it to be darker. So if I want it to look like it's darker up here and it's kind of in a shadow, then I'm just going to put the lines closer to each other. You can also just put some of like these circles in the middle of your feathers. You can tatter some of the edges. So fill in the feathers with whatever patterns you would like, whatever patterns you see. But if they start to mix together, that's when you need to darken them up a little bit, lighten them up a little bit. You can make this part as detailed as you would like. Now let's work on these larger feathers that are in here. On these ones, I'm just going to be using simple lines that are coming diagonally out. Some of these might have a top area, but I might just leave it plain. So I'll show you, for example, in this one, I'm bringing a line through the middle, and then I'm going to add just some diagonal lines coming down towards the bottom of the feather. And I can make them darker up here if I want. It's not really tucking under a feather or anything, so I don't really need to do that. Maybe where they start to tuck under, we could start to put them along the whole feather. And where they're tucking under the feather before, make your lines a little bit shorter and bring them closer together to make it look like there's a shadow. Also feel free to put them in different directions. So we're kind of putting in some of these medium tones and some of this texture in these feathers. You can decide which ones have more, which ones have less. Some of them might not have hardly any. Some of them might just have a, it might just be completely black over in here. And also, we will be using a thicker pen, so we can come back over these and separate some of these areas if they start to come together. All right, so we have some of the texture in here. Now let's work up in these feathers and also in these bottom ones as well. So in here, there's going to be a shadow in front of this leg, so let's just indicate it by putting a line up in here. Let's just show where we see some of these darker shadows, and then we're gonna put them in and add some of this texture back up on top of it. So up in here, there are some feathers that kind of come around the eye, so I'm just gonna put some circle lines under the eye to indicate some of those feathers that are there, and then some of these feathers that are coming up on top, just wrapping it around the eye, and also down in here with some of these feathers. And then just like we did kind of with the scales, I'm just gonna bring some of these lines down onto the raven, just making them a little bit longer almost like hair. Come down to the legs, this part's pretty simple. We're just going to add some of this texture for the legs and we can see it not as much on this back one but on this front one. You just make these bands that wrap around. You could see them a little bit more on the top than on the bottom. They can switch directions. You could keep them on the front side or on the back side. Just make sure you curve them a little bit because remember this is not a flat shape, this is a round shape. So with these hatch lines and with these texture lines, we're trying to show that. I'm gonna use my graphic pen for this, number one put in these shadows that are right under the beak. And if this is too thick and you don't wanna come this close to the edge, you know, you don't have to. But this, we're gonna run this shadow all along the front of the raven. You could use your Sharpie for this or you could use your Pigma pen. Whatever you have is gonna be great. And I might bring it a little bit along this edge just to show the separation that's happening here. And then you can go ahead and put this back shadow in on the back leg. The thing that will really make these look like feathers is just these details that you're adding on the outside edge. So think about your edges. If it doesn't look like there are any feathers in there, chances are you need to just work on your edges a little bit. Okay, so we have some shadows on the front side and you can change these around really depending on what you're trying to draw. I'm gonna add a shadow underneath this, a pretty big one just in the same shape. Some of these feathers are just poking off of the back. I'm not sure why, but... So you can thicken up some of those lines. I'm also, I think this back leg 
is going to be a lot darker than this front. And then we're going to add some of this darker area that's coming up onto the nose. And then in this area on the leg, we're going to do the same thing with our pen. We're just going to add, just like we did up here, we're going to add some longer feathers and overlap them. So it's almost just more similar to like the texture of hair. And then if you want to on the beak, since this beak is dark, it's not light. There is a lighter area right here, kind of a reflection, but above it, I'm just going to add some hatching lines to this part. So you know that this is dark and then I'm going to add some underneath the beak right here making them a little bit further apart right here. And then I'm going to add some to the top. And then in here you can add hatching. You can darken it up. You can blend these shadows in a little bit more if you want. Really where you take it from here is kind of up to you. You can make it as detailed as you want it to be. Now what you can do is darken up your drawing with some hatch lines. I'm going to bring some of them right through my feathers, but some of you might want to bring them along your feathers or create more of a pattern or design in them. And I'm not pressing hard with my, my micron pen so that I'm not losing any of the lines. So we started with some of the design and some of the texture in the, the lighter areas. We added the darker shadows and now we're trying to make them blend together just a little bit more. And so that's what I'm doing with my pen right now is just adding some hatched lines in some of these areas that for sure are going to be darker under the wings right here. It's not white. And you can add them in the direction of your shadows or you can add a design with them. That's the cool thing with inking is you can really do so many things with it. Now what you want to do is just add any details, darken up any areas that you want. Like any of these light areas I have next to my feathers, I definitely want them to be darker. Any areas next to these shadows. So now we're just trying to make it blend and make it fit together. And if you go over some of your lines that you don't want to go over, just grab your black pen and you can re-emphasize some of those areas or those shapes that are under those hatched lines. All right, once you've done that, what I'm going to do now is work with this lettering. First, I'm going to take this one because my Sharpie is a little bit thick and I'm going to go around these letters. Then with my Sharpie, I'm just going to fill in the rest of the spaces. Be careful or you will wrinkle your paper. So outline your letters, kind of fill in some of the smaller spaces. Then you can come in with your Sharpie and it should be a little bit easier to fill in. So I'm running out of ink with this one, so I might be in trouble. And that's it. If you start running out of ink, just use it to your advantage. Also, you might want to bring that shadow up a little bit more underneath the feet and you're finished. Have fun with this project. I hope this step-by-step -step tutorial was helpful for some of you that are trying to learn how to ink, how to add text, how to draw a raven. Thank you so much for drawing with me today. I hope you are enjoying Inktober and October. Have a wonderful day.